I was able to get over to the T-Mobile store to New York City the day after the OnePlus 6T released. And I was able to snatch one up. So let's unbox this, get up close and personal with it. See what it's about. So we got Lucas in the building from Stranger Things with his Ghostbusters costume on. Happy Halloween, everyone. Okay, yeah. So you can see what's going on. All right, so we're not gonna go into specs too much. Just wanna unbox it, uh, get a feel for the phone, set it up. See how the end screen fingerprint scanner works. And um, see if this could be my next daily driver. Let's open this up. See what we got going on here. Got the right unboxing knife today. Just gotta be careful because it's really sharp. Get this in. Focus. Now, because I purchased this phone at, you know, basically spur of the moment. I have not got the opportunity to purchase any sort of screen protectors or case for it. So I'm hoping OnePlus has held to tradition here and included that stuff in the box. I'm really hopeful for that. But anyway, here it is. This is the mirror black version. That is the only version that they had in stock. Um, I mean, I would have preferred uh, the Midnight Black, which I actually had in the OnePlus 6, but uh, this is pretty nice nonetheless. Okay, so let's take a look, closer look here. It does, okay, there is a screen protector on here, so that's good. Let's, let's remove this, what does it say here? To maximize the performance of our in-display fingerprint sensor, we recommend using the screen protectors from OnePlus and our official partners. Oh, so what they're saying here is that this will actually work better with the screen protector on it, particularly if it's from OnePlus or one of their official partners. That's interesting. Okay, let's remove that. Okay, let's set this to the side. Let's see what else is in the box here. All right, so let's... Oh, all right. So we got little smoky gray silicone case. So that's cool. I mean, it's not the, the fanciest thing in the world, but you know, you first purchase the phone, you may not have time to get um, accessories, may not have the money to get accessories right away, or you may have already ordered accessories and you just have to wait for them to arrive. So it's, I, I think it's a really nice touch that they include this stuff in the box. All right, so this just looks like documentation. See if there's anything uh, of importance in here. T Mobile SIM card. Documentation. Uh, looks like your SIM eject tool is embedded in there. Hopefully, you guys can make that out. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to. I'm going to connect to Wi Fi and set it up that way and I will put my SIM card in later. Of course, you have your dash charger charging brick and your dash charger USB-C to USB cable. And you have your USB-C dongle so that you can use your wired headphones. Now, a lot of people are up in arms about the fact that OnePlus removed the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack from the phone. I mean, as an audiophile myself, it's, I find that it is, it definitely is a con, but it's not a deal breaker. It's not gonna prevent me from buying a phone. So, you know, as long as this works well, you know, this might even have a built-in DAC, I'm not too sure. But as long as it works well and I'm able to to play high-res files on the device, I'm, 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 you know, it sounds good, I'm, I'm okay with it. So, all right, let's power this on. Hopefully we got some battery. Okay, we have power. Got your T 
T-Mobile splash page. All right. But I'm actually gonna go through the setup while I'm recording this. All right, so we got the face unlocked setup, and I, I will go back in and fine tune that uh, behind the scenes a bit later. Uh, but let's see if, if we can get the uh, fingerprint sensor set up here. Please re-enter your fingerprint after each replacement of the protective film to ensure the availability of the fingerprint. In a single setup process, please enter only one finger's fingerprint information. Press and make sure your finger, assuming that means covers, the fingerprint identification area as much as possible and lift after you feel a vibration. So for this, I'm gonna use my thumb. I feel that's what most people use to unlock their phones. I'm gonna try to get all the corners of my finger here. All right, so now it's asking for edge input. a light flashing there. That's interesting. All right, so the fingerprint was successfully added. So now here, you're giving us uh, the option for screen off gestures. Um, so you can, of course, draw V to turn off and on the flashlight. I don't particularly like that gesture because I find that depending on what you're doing with, with the phone, you can inadvertently turn the flashlight on. So I'll leave that off. I do really love double tap to wake though. I almost can't live without that feature. Open camera, so you can draw an O to start the camera. I don't want to do that. Music control, they want you to draw with two fingers to play music. I don't really be bothered with that, okay. Screen calibration. So you have the default. Let's see if we can move in a little closer here. Working this lens is really limited as far as what I can do, but I do apologize for that, guys. All right, so we got the default sRGB DCI P3 adaptive mode and custom color. Probably gonna leave it at, def at default. Um, uh, DCI P3 looks looks pretty good. Adaptive mode. Custom. I'm just gonna leave it at the default. I think it looks all around the best for me. Select the font. Um, I'll take the OnePlus Slate font, that's fine. I'm not really interested in T-Mobile collecting my device data, so I will agree to that. Close that, and that's it. We're all set. So, you know, I'll, I'll most likely post another video with my initial impressions, but so far, it's, you know, standard OnePlus fanfare, which is a good thing. The device feels solid. It is beautiful. Um, you can see that, that teardrop notch there that everyone has been talking about. Hopefully, you guys can make that out. Um, it is very small. Notches, in general, really don't bother me too much. I mean, I've, I'm so used to them on phones now. It's, it's really not... It's not a, a big deal to me at all. Some people love them, some people hate them, some people don't care. I'm one of those people that really don't care about it. This is definitely the most, the smallest notch I've ever seen, and that's a good thing. Hopefully, uh, the rest of these tech companies will follow through when they make future iterations of their devices. So that's about it. I got my case, screen protectors on there. I do have some stuff on the way but there's no need for me to stress it everything is fully protected so that's my little brief unboxing of the oneplus 6t i was happy i was able to get my hands on it and i'll put it through the paces to get back to you guys lucas from stranger things approves see you guys later